Hey guys, so this is a review about Naruto Shippuden 471. I'm going to be saying a few things about uh, Obito's character. You know, they really have to stop with the, the whole flashbacks and, you know, just bringing it, him back from, from like, the flashbacks. Like, everyone understands your point. We get it. You guys know, everyone knows Obito. Everyone knows how he is. Everybody knows you know, like he is a character that went through a terrible time. He was evil, and he now he's good. Um, in this episode, what I really liked was the music. The background music was amazing. The animation was on point. It's it's getting better and better. Also, Kakashi. They showed how Kakashi might become the next Hokage, or uh, you know, obtain a new amount of power. Because right before Obito, you know, passed out or I guess died. Um, you know, Kakashi really got the power from Obito, some new power we don't even know about. What can it be? I'm guessing it can be a Suzuno, uh, a Maratsu, that like super powerful like ability to just warp from one dimension to another because now Kakashi has both eyes. It's kind of like what happened with Sasuke and, H and Itachi's eyes. How when Itachi died, Sasuke implanted his eyes into him through Kabuto. So I think it could be like some reason for that to happen but i think it might become most likely clear or evident that it could become a suzano who knows um also the whole Ob obito and kakashi flashback they could have kept the kept it to a, like a minimal length mainly because it wastes so much runtime for the episode and viewers won't be interested if if naruto wants to market the right way and also give the audience what they want i think it's about, you know, more about, we understand the character, but let's see what happens with the character. You know, this episode, I liked how Kaguya used her gravity to throw everyone down. And then, you know, it was a life-death life decision between Obito and Kakashi. And it was really nice of Obito to, like, you know, really save his friend because it personifies that he's really good now. And he's, you know, he's gotten better. He's pure-hearted, whatever. But they really had to stop with the flashbacks. Like, what the hell happened to Sasuke? Sasuke was just, like, in the other dimension. And he, this guy just comes back from, like, the other dimension with o o Obito for, like, two seconds. Doesn't even talk. It's just quiet the whole time. So there's nothing going on with Sasuke. The only one who's, like, a little bit has, like, an action scene is Naruto versus Kaguya. And then the rest of the time is just flashbacks. Even with Sakura. Like, I was like, who cares about Sakura's character? Like, she needs to burn or something like I don't want her to be there um it was just more about flashbacks and these types of episodes really kill the viewers mainly because we want to see the finale of Naruto and I'm not saying rush into it and show us but don't show us flashbacks that are really going to like you know turn the mu viewers mood off but I really uh, overall I really liked this episode it was at least like a 6.5 out of 10 mainly because of, because of animation and background music and also i really liked um how you know obito really saved the day so it was pretty good but i just didn't like the whole you know flashback thing so that's why i give it a solid like 6 out of 10 if i have to and you know that's mainly my review for this episode naruto should put in 471 um and my bad for being a little bit late, you guys. I've just been, uh, you know, a little bit busy with school and, you know, college. And I just wanted to let you guys know because I don't want to keep you guys in the dark. But, yeah, this is my review. And like and share my comment and video. And, um, you know, I'll get back to you guys with another video soon. The Bat Wave out.